Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov, and today I want to show you how to implement getting multiple elements and then getting their values to confirm something like this that comes from a separate discussion. So if you have subtotal, tax, tip, and the total fields, how do you get each element, convert them into a float, and then confirm that the sum is equal to the total without nesting that then, that then, that then. I have the test running right here, and the test itself is written right here. So we have four fields. We select, for example, subtotal, convert it to text, convert it to float, and we get subtotal. Now, because this value comes from a page, I have to use that then callback to use the value. Then we repeat the same process, and we get the text, another that then, then we get the tip, another that then, and then we get the total, and inside the last pyramid of doom, that then we confirm that the total is equal to the sum of subtotal tax and the tip. Because this is, you know, IEEE float standard, the things are never are exact, so you should probably use something like Dinero.js to work with currencies. So the first thing you want to see is how to fix this error. Right? So instead of to equal, you probably want to say to be close to and, you know, give how much accuracy you want to use. So probably something like this is better. But I, I really want to get rid of a whole pyramid of doom right here. So what can we do? Well, here's what we can right? Once you get up to here, you convert the number, you want to save it as an Alice, so in this case, subtotal. Okay? And then you get the second field, and now you don't use the then, you use the same technique, tax, remove of that then, you save it as an alias, tip, remove, and then you get total, and save it as an alias, total. Okay? And for now, let's just comment out the assertion, right? We'll have to figure out how to do that. Okay? So we got rid of all nesting. Right? Of course, we don't have a test, but you can see each alias being saved one by one. Okay, that's great. What do we do next? Now we somehow have to get those values, and somehow we have to actually confirm the total. So once we finish this chain of commands, then we use a callback, a single callback. And because I'm going to use this, that property, I have to use the function form of that callback. So when Cypress creates an alice, it automatically puts that value as a property on the test context object that you can access using this, but only if you use function callback. So let me move this assertion, pun intended, into our single callback. And now, instead of just saying total, we'll say this total. And this is this alice value. And this subtotal, this tax, this tax tip. Runs the same way, and notice that this number has a pyramid of DOM. Instead, it gets all the values, saves them, and then accesses all of them using this object 